welcome back to the cities and channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And my talking point shows you look back at City 4, Chelsea 0 in the FA Cup third round. Yes, 8th of January. So, yes, uh, not the greatest Chelsea team to visit the Etihad, but uh, you can only beat what's in front of you, can't you? So, we'll have a look at this game, the match stats report and facts today so please if you are new to the channel push that subscribe button push the bell notifications It'd be great to have you on board please spread the word everything city if you are pushing buttons or not pushing buttons give us a press that little like button as well a little thumbs up button there make an old city fan very very happy apologies for the voice you know what i'm like after i've been to the etihad uh, yes it uh, takes me a few hours to recover right please if you can if you can watch my little uh, play ratings show as well, that's out there. That should be out there, which includes uh, Simon Bukowski for the Manchester Evening News as well. All right, let's get on to this talking points. I got seven right. Not very good. Not very good this time, guys. Pretty, pretty pathetic. But uh, I was reasonably happy with the team. The, the 11, Ortega, Walker, Akanji, Laporte, Gomez, Rodri, Bernardo, Palmer, Foden. Alvarez and Mares, yeah, surprises, perhaps uh, Gomez, but I was happy for Gomez because I did say if he doesn't play, when's he going to play? Um, <laughs> he's got not much chance, has he? So I was happy to see him in the team and a bit surprised to see Rodri and I thought Phillips might get a start in this one, but of course uh, Rodri didn't play the full game and Phillips came on. So yeah, in interesting, but I, I didn't expect Rodri to start this one. We'll see, we'll see for the Southampton game, that'll be an interesting one, won't it? On the bench, we had Edison, Stones, Aki, Cancelo, Phillips, Lewis, Gundogan, KDB and Haaland. Yes, yeah, so you probably got to, you probably look at Pep's mind there and thinking you, you perhaps know who his main guys are at the moment. I would sort of go along with Edison, Stones, Aki, perhaps not Cancelo, certainly not Phillips, uh, Lewis, Gundogan, KDB and Haaland. We'll say is that, is that looking like his main guys? No, but we'll see when we play Southampton. Referee was Robert Jones. It was all right. He gave, he gave three yellow cards to City players, so he's only ever ref City four times. We've now won every single one, and he's actually shown five yellow cards. Now he'd only shown two before today's game. So, yeah, I thought a little bit, a little bit uh, unfair on City to show us uh, more yellow cards than Chelsea. In fairness, but. Hey, there you go. VAR. Well, I don't think I've too many problems with Mr. John Brooks on VAR. He did his job today. Set the old ref over to check to check out his mistakes. So I think we should be quite happy with that. On to the batch report. Yeah, not, uh, not the liveliest start. A bit quiet. Uh, 19 minutes. There was a chance for Palmer as Kepper. Kepper sort of divvered. Yeah, he didn't know whether to come or, or stay. But uh, Palmer, rather than look for someone in the box, went on his own. A bit disappointing, hit the side netting with that one. 22 minutes, yet yeah, Mahrez wins a free kick. And then Julie puts it high into the net. I think it took a little deflection off her head. Um, no one's saying that, but it looks as though it did. But I, I checked it back later. Um, but it was on target. It may have gone in anyway. Uh, but another goal for him against Chelsea. He's doing well. I think he scored three against Chelsea now this season. But uh, yeah, a great, a great goal for Mahrez from a free kick. 28 minutes and apparent hand ball by Chelsea we had no idea we were in the south stand but we saw an arm raised but you couldn't you couldn't really tell I've not seen it back on replay either but play continued as it does waiting for a stoppage as soon as there was a stoppage you sent over to the monitor and I can only assume it was a clear hand ball I think Habits has supposedly punched it away from the port well, uh, I'll try and get a chance to look at that if I get a chance. Uh, 30 minutes up steps Alvarez. Kepa tries to psych him out. Where does Kepa, where does Kepa come from? I mean, has he saved a penalty? Has he ever saved a penalty? I obviously remember that wonderful uh, Wembley thing where he, he absolutely was useless, wasn't he? We, I think we scored every one past him where he wanted to stay. He didn't want to go off. He's, you know, He didn't want to be taken off. He's, he wants to save penalties, but... I, I'm not seeing him. I'm not seeing him save that many. Not against us anyway. He might have saved him against other people. But anyway, uh, I think the referee should have probably booked him for for wasting time as well when he just uh, sort of facing up to Alvarez. I think he did the same with Mares later on. But uh, yeah, he did guess right. He guessed right, but there's enough on Alvarez's shot to put it in the corner, and he got a hand on it, but he couldn't keep it out. So it was two 0 Thirty five minutes, a tame shot from Alvarez, uh, sort of straight at Kepper. Thirty seven minutes. 
Kepa takes no chances with another Mara's free kick. He punches it over. 38 minutes, a nice move by City. Rodri to Mara's uh, to an overlapping walker. Just one of our standard goals that we used to score a lot of. And his sort of cross into the box was calmly slided home. Slid horse, slid home by uh, Foden to make it 3 0. Uh, game over. Probably, and it was. Uh, 45 minutes, yeah. Alvarez just can't get his, can't stretch his legs long enough. And where's early in Ireland when you need him to a, a Mares cross? I thought he was just going to get a toe to it, but uh, yeah, he just couldn't get to it. So we went in at half side, three and a lot. Uh, into the second half, uh, pretty steady from City. We didn't, we didn't. We don't sort of push too hard. We sort of controlled the game. A yellow for Rodri on 54 minutes. Uh, 55 minutes, yeah. A reasonable chance for Chelsea. Mount sees a shot just sort of tipped wide for a corner. 58 minutes, Phillips came on for Rodgers. 59 minutes, Cancelo came on for Gomez. 62 minutes, yes, I hope you got on, guys. My little odd show. I did say uh, Gallagher looked a good price to get a book in, and he did get booked. <laughs> so there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope we got on that one. That was 62 minutes. 70 minutes of yellow for Bernardo. 72 minutes set. Mar is fed by Bernardo. Tries his usual curler from our, from up the other end where we were. It looks as though it might nestle into the net, but it didn't. It just went wide. 74 minutes of Chelsea shot by one of their youngsters went wide. 84 minutes Foden, yeah, I've not a chance to watch it. I saw, I saw a brief highlight of it. It was up, upended by Kulu Ballad. There was a bit of a bit of whinging, so how, how obvious it was, I don't know. But another penalty, no need for VAR this time. And up stepped Mares. I, I think we I thought we'd all agreed that Mares was never ever going to take a penalty again. But yes, sadly, um, the fans of we don't matter do what we think. Up stepped Mares. And this time, again, as he does do sometimes, a, a brilliant brilliant penalty yes he is capable of doing him into the roof of the net with Kepa going the wrong way and it's 4-0 86 minutes Lewis for Bernardo 87 minutes a yellow for Cancelo so that's our third yellow of the night two minutes injury time not a lot not a lot happened match stats uh, City just nine shots seven on target oh, I'm happy with that that's good Chelsea three shots just one on target possession 59% for City passes 642 to 461 in City's favour. Pass accuracy a bit better from City, a bit up, up where we expect it to be, 91%. Chelsea's was 87, so that wasn't too bad. Fouls, 10 by each team, but uh, of course, yellow cards, three for us and one for them. Offsides, one for us, none for them. And corners, again, uh, if you, uh, not many corners these days in these games, uh, just four for us and two for them. XG philosophy at XG philosophy. Yes, we we overperformed in Chelsea. Well, Chelsea just did Chelsea things, didn't they? City's XG was 2.82, so we did better than that. And Chelsea's was 0 0.09, so just about right, really, wasn't it? So our overall record now in the FA Cup at home to Chelsea reads, played four, won three, lost one, eight goals for and one against. And just my little sum up player uh, on this one. Yeah, I think Pep would be pleased with that performance. I think there was some uh, good minutes uh, for players who've been struggling or been on the fringes recently. Of course, after this World Cup break, it's all been a bit up in the air for me with Pep and the team and who he's been playing. And the best thing about it was even that uh, not just minutes in the game for these players, but they all uh, put in pretty good performances as well. And that was great to see uh, all over the pitch from the defence into attack. Of course, we know Haaland. It's just nice to see a... Uh, still still managing to create chances and score goals and it will be very very interesting I think as I said that bench today you probably uh, five or six of those players uh, you definitely think will be at Old Trafford next week but will they be will they be rested again for Southampton so it's going to be very interesting to see on Wednesday night what team uh, Pep puts out against the Saints uh, but I, no matter what Pep says, he's, going, he's definitely going to have one eye on that Old Trafford game. He, he might deny it. He'll say, one, we'll take one game at a time. The old adage, of course, but uh, I think he will. But it'll be extremely interesting to see what sort of side we put out at Southampton. On to Chelsea. Well, the struggle in that they I'm happy. You know, we're not, we're not bothered. Of course, we're not bothered. I, I don't give a monkeys, to be honest with you, but they are struggling. I think they need some key players back uh, and very quickly this season. He's not going to turn into a disaster. Obviously, they're out of the league title race. They're out of the Carabao. They're out of the FA Cup, uh, thanks to us. Uh, and, of course, uh, they've 
they're in the Champions League, but if, if, I say it'd be a minor miracle this lot get anywhere in the Champions League. But hey, it's not always the best team that wins the Champions League, is it? And Chelsea should know that anyway. But uh, yeah, they've got to do something because it, it is looking like a little bit of a disaster class. And with a full complement, you know, even, even obviously Sterling's been the main guy this season. He's not been pulling up roots, you know, he's not been pulling up trees. So the jury has to be out as to Potter's abilities, even with a full complement, and to get them challenging back for Europe this season. Even top six, even Europa League is, is going to be a task. Uh, to finish seventh and enter that other Europa Conference, that would be quite funny, wouldn't it? But uh, of course he needs time. Um, but is this another season that they have to write off? And they've had to do that once or twice, haven't they, recently, Chelsea? And it'll be interesting to see how the, the owners react. So they've not, not got the greatest track record already in a very short period of time but um, be interested to see how things go anyway on the bright side for you Chelsea all you Chelsea fans watching you've won two Champions League so I'm sure you're happy with that I'm sure that'll keep you warm at night over the next uh, next two or three months of winter so there you go uh, thanks for watching let me know your thoughts let me know your things I did say I'll be back of course with the preview and odd show for the Southampton game and please check out my player ratings for this City 4 Chelsea nil as well with uh, Manchester Evening News' Simon Bukowski with his ratings. And some, some good scores, some high scores, as I said. You can only you can only beat what's in front of you. And I, I thought City, uh, player by player, were very, very good tonight. Very good indeed. So check out that. It'd be great to uh, hear your comments. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again. That's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now.